Okay, so let's talk about typography JS. Basically, typography JS is a approach uh, to typography to CSS typography, but with JavaScript. Okay, so to use it, first we need to do yarn at typogra. I think it's typography or typography JS. Ah, uh, typography. All right, so this will, this will add yarn typography. Now, what I want to do is create a new file, and I want to say typography.js. All right, and here is where the action begins, and here is where you can see how cool it's going to be. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to import typography, typography, yep, from typography. Awesome. And now I'm going to create a new variable, typography. This variable could be whatever you want. And name new typography. All right, and here I start describing my CSS configuration of the typography. So I'm going to say base font size, for example, and I'm going to call this 16. I'm going to say this is, uh, no, 18 pixels like this, right? And I'm going to show you typography.js website. And here, there is uh, explain all the options that you have to modify your typography. So in this case, I'm going to say base font size 18 and base line height. This is just CSS stuff. Let's say 1.66, which is the, like the average. All right. And here is my favorite part. It's the favorite of all. Basically, always when you want to work with typography, you most of the time will import a um, Google font, right? So you will have to go to Google fonts and then you will have to come back and then you have to copy paste and it's a pain in the ass. This is how easy it is for typography to work. We're going to say Google fonts and here I am going to start naming my Google fonts that I want to use. In this case, I want to import Montserrat. This comes from Google fonts, Montserrat. And the weight that I want to import is 700 only. And now I want to work with also name Open Sans, just to fuck around. Open Sans. And the styles that I want to import are, let's say, 400 only. All right. And I'm good to go. That's it. And now that I, now that I imported my uh, Google fonts, I can say header fonts, font family, sorry, header font family, and I can call it by her name, Montserrat, and let's say later on, I will do sans serif, right, as a, how can I call this, as a fallback, and before Helvetica, no way. All right, so I have header font family, Awesome, and now what about body font family? Body font family. And let's say open sans also. And uh, no, sans serif. All right, so this is how I am describing the typography of my uh, application. You see, it's everything with JavaScript notation, which makes it super cool. And they are going to automatically download the fonts here for me. Now, what I need to do is I need to say typography.js, sorry, typography, sorry, inject styles. What inject styles is going to do is that it's going to take all this JavaScript description, is going to translate it into CSS, and then it's going to put it on the head, all right? And now I'm going to export default typography. All right, so this is good. Now I need to use it. To use it, I have only have to import it. Import typography from typography inside of this place. That's it. So now let me go to node. It's going to build and something happened. We just need to jump start again. And now that it's done, let's go look for it. Localhost one two three four. And now, as you can see here, if we inspect this element, this class is going to have a font family open sans, which is exactly 
what we described here. Now let's make, instead of just only this, let's make a header and a paragraph. So a header and a paragraph. Let's look at the header. The header has a Montserrat from family and the paragraph has a open sans. That's how awesome it is. You didn't touch the CSS, you didn't do anything. All you did is you described your CSS, your um, typography with typography JS on JavaScript notation. I think this is awesome. I love it. I love it. That's what I needed to teach this to you guys, right? If you guys look here, they give you a lot of examples. There are also a lot of themes that you can use. Many people made like good combinations of themes. So you will just have to create a typography, right? Element, import the theme, maybe make a modification and then create a typography object with the theme that you will download from NPM. That's how easy it is. It's awesome, in my opinion. It's just the best thing ever. Look at how easy it is to add a, te um, a theme. And this is typography JS. Now, next up, we need to learn, learn how to build this thing for production, right? How to build it and compress and minify and all that stuff, okay? So what we're going to do is that we are going to create a new script called build, right? And build is going to say parcel, right? We're going to build index.html, all right? But I wanna, uh, the directory where I wanna build it, I wanna do it inside of a directory called build, okay? And I'm gonna make the public URL on the same one. This is because maybe your public URL will be on Amazon web servers or on GitHub pages or something. In this case, I want to put my uh, public URL is going to be on the same folder. I'm gonna save my package.json, I'm gonna kill my server, and I'm gonna say jarn build. Let's see what happens. It's going to do some stuff. And let's do it. Come on. Building, 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 building. Jesus. All right. Let's look at build. We have index, it's minified, all right? And look at the CSS, let's look at the CSS right here. That's it, title, whatever. And let's look at this thing here, beautiful. That's it, done. Minified like a motherfucker, perfect. Now the only thing you need to remember is the public URL. Maybe you have your, I don't know, maybe you have your files stored somewhere. I have no clue. Maybe you have them on Amazon, so you will do HTTP amazon.com slash whatever and then all your files sorry your index html is going to have that thing that you did here like this all right if you have a public url like that it's going to work the same way and that's it my friends that's how easy it is to work with parcel me personally i really really like it because it allows me to start something super fast and to keep it lean. I don't have to download Create React App, which is heavy. I don't have to work with Webpack, which I don't like because it's too big and too much configuration. I just rather use a little bit of magic when I wanna wait, when I wanna make a side project. I wanna be able to control everything and I want to start fast. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it for this mini course. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, and I hope it helps you next time you need to make a project. Maybe you don't use Create React App maybe you use parcel, this is gonna be faster for you to start, a little bit more lean and less magic and more customization. I will see you on the next course. Bye-bye, thank you for watching.